Bainbridge, and this is the Davos Daily. With the pandemic keeping us locked indoors, the World Economic Forum has moved their annual meeting from Davos to, well, wherever you are right now. And with this virtual conference, you can tune in anytime you want. But first things first, I'm here to give you some of the most captivating highlights so far. And let's start with some good news. There are vaccine doses in vials now, and we're hoping to have something like 145 to 150 million doses delivered in the first quarter, uh, maybe um, uh, 500 million in the second quarter, and then um, one and a half billion in the um, second half of the year. There are still pitfalls related to equity and access, as these comments from Cyril Ryder post a show. Rich countries in the world are holding on to these vaccines and we are saying release the excess vaccines that you have ordered and hoarded. The world needs access to those vaccines. But it's integral that wealthy countries don't just act independently, which is why I'm pleased to let you hear firsthand from some European heavyweights. If we don't urgently act to protect our nature, the next pandemic will be around the corner. To those who prefer the business case, here it is. More than half of global GDP is dependent on high functioning biodiversity and ecosystems. The top five global risks are all related to the environment. If we're going to see success and growth in the future, we'll need to first agree on how we treat and take care of our planet. Our societies are vulnerable because nature is reminding us of this. We are vulnerable to pandemic, climatic events, and so on. And so the economy of tomorrow, strengthened by these lessons, is going to have to be an economy that thinks about innovation and humanity. And it's going to have to build competitiveness together with the climate challenge, reducing CO2 emissions, adapting our societies, the biodiversity, agenda so it's a economy that will have to be more resilient and i could not share one of my favorite highlights from the session on reimagining education with professor angela duckworth most of us did not grow up with Google, right? Or like the internet, but like that now exists. Like, why would you want to memorize almost anything? There is a kind of um, Byzantine structure in education that we inherited from, you know, the way civilization just was for a long time. And now because knowledge has expanded exponentially and access to it has become frictionless and immediate, like why do we still school in the same way? As an educator myself, I agree with Professor Duckworth's points. Why are we doing school the exact same way it was done years ago when the way that students engage with the world and the ways that they learn are constantly evolving and changing? We need to be preparing students for the challenges of the future. And in order to do that, we need innovative approaches to teaching to be integrated into the classroom. That should give you a sense of what you've missed. Keep up to date with the rest right here online on YouTube.